Artificial intelligence is here to stay and affecting all the major industries. Hi, this is Vishal Kalia from Fashion Marketing and in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you 13 areas where artificial intelligence is and could affect retail, beauty, clothing and fashion industry. And I would love to hear from you in the comments which areas of retail you think AI will affect that I did not cover. And please do subscribe to our channel if you see fit. And let's get started. So 13 areas where artificial intelligence is and could affect the fashion industry. So let's look at number one, which is supply chain and demand projection. You know, H&M announced that they were sitting on $4.3 billion of inventory. And that is a lot of money they are sitting and that is being burnt. So imagine an AI, it can use prediction analysis on what type of clothes it might sell and might not sell and create a combination of discounts, free shipping, product combos, etc to clear out the inventory that is most likely not to sell after a certain amount of period of time. So Rulala collaborated with MIT to experiment with artificial intelligence technologies to improve demand forecasting. They developed a system that helped them predict the demand for products in the flash sales and accounted for data sources including brand information, product type, color, price, and range factors. This enabled them to optimize their price and generate a 10% increase in revenue without any extra burden of unused inventory or supplier costs. German e-commerce player Auto uses deep learning to analyze billions of transactions and is 90% accurate in forecasting what it will sell in the next 30 days. This insight allowed it to create a couple of hundred thousand items each month from vendors with no human intervention. It also cut down its surplus stock by 20% and reduced costly returns by 2 million items each year. So imagine using artificial intelligence to do supply chain and demand projection and retailers can save millions of dollars. Number two, photos for new collection. The problem is when you are creating a new clothing line or launch a new collection, you have to take photos, pictures of all the items to be posted on your website. This can be extremely cost sensitive because it involves models, photographers, makeup artists, and you have to do is manage their schedules and reshoots it can be pain in the ass. So imagine an AI solution, and there are companies who are actually doing this at this point, that are enabling retailers to shoot images by putting clothes on mannequins and then replacing the mannequin with the 3D image of the actual model. So this way they don't have to worry about reshoots they don't have to worry about model schedules and makes it and this makes taking photos for your new collection very very cost effective you know automated clothing sorting so problem is when you order a product on gap or amazon or any other online retailer there are actual people on the other side picking and sorting products for you it is a huge cost for because retailers have to pay them it takes longer time and most of the time warehouses cannot function 24 7 because of a huge labor cost but Gap is testing a new solution with Kindred AI that is training robots to pick and sort products. So imagine robots picking items of different sizes from your jeans to shirts to glasses and puts them together in a box for you and then a drone ships that box to your door. So this video shows you how Kindred AI is functioning at Gap in sorting out different type of materials. So number four is inventory checks and restocking. So problem today is that human beings have to go visit the racks and check items that need to be restocked. So AI solution, imagine cameras and sensors that can automatically sense what is missing and needs to be restocked and can reorder it for you. 
and this information can be paired with the understanding of the seasons, sales data to make sure they only order the item that is most likely to sell. And instead of getting new items manufactured, they can check if that item or the similar item exists at different locations and probably not selling at that location and it can order it from there and bring it to the customer. And, and pair that with robots going out and restocking the shelves so humans don't have to. Number five is designing clothes. So Amazon is developing artificial intelligence that combines hundreds of thousands of designs, fabrics to create something of new that it interprets that it can actually sell. So Mantra is another huge company and one of their brands, Moda Rapido, is powered by artificial intelligence and it works without human intervention to offer computer generated designs, including t-shirts, jeans, kurtas and shoes. The system is fed from various sources, including customer data, social media, fashion publications, different designs, and it creates thousands of combinations of designs and then hones in on what it thinks would sell the best. Moda Rapido is right now is one of the highest gross margins compared to all the other 14 brands that Mantra portfolio carries. But there's a huge debate that can AI actually replace the creativity that is brought to the table by the fashion designers. And I would love to hear what do you think if this is a good application for AI or can AI actually ever replace a fashion designer? Number six, trend forecasting. So trend forecasting is a big business. There are companies like WGSN that does that and they have employees that go through thousands of images and look for patterns, new trends and sort them out to do a trend forecast. So imagine an artificial intelligence analyzing images, colors, styles, photos that didn't exist before but are getting high engagement and they can combine their data with hashtags, location, influencer, color distribution and AI can help and analyze and predict the upcoming trends. Number seven, dynamic websites and apps. So currently when you're doing traditional A-B testing to find out which version of website is going to give you most number of conversions, we show different variations of the website to certain set of customers and see which one converts the best. And since this is very limited, you can only show to maybe five or six different set of visitors and each one has to be modified. But imagine having an AI solution where each user that visits the, visits the website sees the website content, its images, its wording based on what that person will more likely to respond to. So the AI company Sentinent Technologies works with sketchers to improve recommendations based on analyzing which image of shoes an individual customer prefers to curate a gallery tailored to that shopper's unique style and preferences. Number eight, product testing. So Verbi Parker allows users to pick up to five different styles and using AI, they can understand what style of sunglasses work for what type of consumer. So right now they will send you a box with five different styles and you try those styles at home and then you send back the, all of these glasses and you pick the one that actually you like the most. So Verbi Parker is experimenting with AI technology that you can take an image and you can apply different glasses on your face and see which one you like the best and then you can order specifically from there. So this way they don't have to send you the actual five frames at your home and it saves them a lot of money on shipping and actually break um, of, of those glasses. Another company called Modi Face is actually testing out, allows people to look into the camera, take an image and they can test out different type of uh, hair colors and hairstyles and see how they will look. So this way it saves a huge amount of effort and time for the user so they don't have to go out and try the color and then find out if they actually like it or not. This way they can actually see using the app that if the color will actually look good on, on them or not and they can pick accordingly. And the same thing Modiface has different that they can use with makeup items. Sephora has another app that does exactly the same thing. And of course, personalized clothing recommendations and personalizations. You know, Stitch Fix is a prime example where algorithms analyzes returns and buys from its customers and then standing, sending them clothes that they're more likely to buy. This data is important for brands because before they didn't know which type of activity happened in the fitting rooms and they didn't know which product customer tried and they did not like. So the likes of Birchbox, Stitch Fix, Latode, Trunk Club, Ipsy, these personalized recommendation websites are doing extremely well. 
and of course virtual fitting rooms you know we have all seen that the different companies like style me burberry they are testing with different type of virtual fitting rooms so user can actually go through and stand in front of the the mirror and they can test out different clothing items without actually trying them on next is voice ordering we have alexa we have google home where they you can watch the items whichever you want to order and imagine like google home and alexa they know exactly where you live they know who you are they have information on your credit card they have your home address so you can literally sit and order through voice that hey alexa send me this particular item or alexa send me this item from gap or guess with this style and and they will be able to charge your credit card because they know who you are they can send it to your home because they have your shipping address they know who you particularly are so they can also say that this customer viewed this items and actually ordered this particular product so voice ordering is, is will be huge as it comes along now out of stock items pick -a like is another example it collaborated with bond pricks to make a personalized recommendations for out of stock items based on visual similarities reducing the dropout rate of out of stock items by 43 percent you know clothing insurance the problem today is that fashion designers and retailers buy insurance from larger companies like Allstate nationwide and it's usually calculated by national average. But imagine an AI solution that creates a specific insurance just for you based on who your customer is, how many returns you get, how many collections per year you do and if you decide to stick, skip a collection or reduce the number of returns which means you are shipping clothing less, lesser than before and then it can reduce your insurance accordingly so this can be very your so your clothing insurance become dynamic based on how many actions or activities you're taking month after month versus being one standard fee that you are paying month after month so these are like 13 ways that i think that ai is currently affecting fashion retail industry and can potentially affect more but if you have another ways where you think or have seen artificial intelligence being used to take effect the retail clothing and beauty industry please do share them in the comments and i'll be more than happy to learn from you as well so hi this is vishal kali from fashion marketing and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel if you see fit and thank you very much for your time and have a great day